KDK meteorologist Mary Hours and our whole weather team have been tracking and timing this all ahead of declaring this a first alert day. So Mary, what do people really need to know about, especially within the next 24 hours? Yeah, it's not just today. We have another first alert day tomorrow because just look at how large this storm is and it's slow moving. So we're going to see that ice accumulate little by little. It's going to take time for that to switch over to sleet and then to snow. This doesn't wrap up until tomorrow afternoon, so you need to make plans ahead of time to try to avoid the roads if you can. Right now on our satellite and radar, this is stretching all the way to Memphis as freezing rain, and we're seeing freezing rain already. So north of I-80, mostly just snow, and starting to see that freezing rain switch over to snow in Newcastle, where just about 8, 9 o'clock this morning, we were getting reports of freezing rain. So slick roads for Newcastle in Lawrence County, and then further south, places in Moon, McCandless, dealing with freezing Freezing rain, so that rain is falling and freezing onto a contact of a surface of 32 degrees or below. So even Beaver County right now, but a lot of areas even further off to the east, you're not going to see this until around dinner time. Still mostly just rain at this point, but that is why there's a winter storm warning for the Pittsburgh region, areas north and also west and then east. That winter weather advisory. Another thing to keep a heads up about and be on alert for this flood watch. It's going to go through tonight for area south of I-70 for places into Washington County. So again, still looking at the risk for flooding and just look at downtown right now. We have visibility issues rain right now, but we are starting to see icy conditions. So we're going to be dealing with this at least throughout late tonight past dinner time before that switches over to snow. So just to break it down for you and show you the difference here where that front's dividing through the region and why these temperatures are dropping 28 in Franklin all snow. So we're starting to see those temperatures catch up with one another through the atmosphere, but areas in the 40s in Latrobe and they're going to stay in the 40s a little bit longer. So just rain, but right at that 31 degree mark in Pittsburgh, road temperatures are catching up to that air temperature, and that's why we're seeing ice. The pink, that's ice, and then we'll see that mixing with some sleet. Not enough time to refreeze, but then all to snow by tonight and then tomorrow through the morning. So it's going to be very hazardous on the roadways. That's why we're looking at a very high risk to travel also for ice, and then we're also going to see that snow for tomorrow morning. So breaking it down for you in future cast, this is going to be a very prolonged period of freezing rain. So this rain again, it's still warmer in the upper atmosphere and these road temperatures, they're going to drop to the 20s and this will be by 10 o'clock tonight. Starting to see that switch over for areas along the ridges where that winter weather advisory is, so less ice there and then all to snow right around midnight till three, four o'clock in the morning and then we'll start to see that taper off, so it does get a little bit better. But in terms of ice accumulation, a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, whether or not we see a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in that range, still nearly impossible to drive on at times. In terms of how much snowfall we'll get, areas north, you're already dealing with snow right now, so you're going to see the most four to six, two to four in the Beaver Butler region, and then less amounts, about one to three for areas south of Pittsburgh. And then temperatures stay below freezing, 28 for tomorrow. Snow showers, those taper off, but still going to have icy roads as these temperatures stay below freezing, even below 20 degrees for Saturday. Sunday only at 30, a little bit of sunshine. Next week we start to see a little bit of a warm up, dry conditions for the week. And by Wednesday, we're finally back in the 40s and partly cloudy. All right, Mary, thank you for that. Our KDK weather team is constantly fine tuning this forecast as the storm moves in and you can get the first alert to any new updates via the CBS Pittsburgh app. We'll send new information right to your phone. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in your app store.